Thoughts from the Other World, a prayer of St. G. We speak to only you, Moon, only to you. We have gone carelessly through our lives, running to evil, not walking. We are not intact. Long ago was spilled a bottle of red wine upon the stone floor. There were islands of far-flung redness and pools like blood. Among them, tiny unseen shards of broken glass lying in wait to injure you, to injure me. Altogether a broken life. It cannot be poured back into its origin. Then the moon turned away, dipped under the horizon without listening. No one listened. What cared he for my life? Nor did any care. Did I? The pieces still lie about, unsorted, unclaimed. They are mixed with the spills of all others, even from centuries ago, even from those to come. For all lives are the same. Humans cannot be sorted or compared. The intelligence of the Lord is so immeasurable, so infinite, that we have to wonder at our very existence. Accepting that we are alive, wonder yet the reason. And if it is enough for us. What is it for you? We are seemingly useless. Thus we have come upon our ignorance of unfathomable love and of thoughts and ways from another world. And if we could travel there, would we be equipped to live there? What is the time of our living? We do not live in past or future. We live now in the precise present with its particular relation to the redemptive history. Faith allows us to share at the present time in the saving gifts of the entire timeline, even those of the future. Even now does the spirit invade the area of physical life. Of this there will be full expression in our future life with you. You do not permit us to escape from the period of time in which we are placed. The spirit is now only the earnest, only the first fruits. At times we will have glimpses of the entire redemptive line, but to reckon the hours and days of the end is not proper. Yet we do know how the process proceeds and comes to its fulfillment. The hardening of Israel is one step in this process, but lasts only until its fulfillment, whereupon at the end Israel also will be converted. The Spirit from heaven will be sent to the earth and into the church, where may come at times signs and wonders. There may at times be healing and an impossible turning of events, some say even resurrection. But we in these times were left the fully revealed, fully sealed Word of God. It was given to be enough and is enough. The life in the Spirit, both now and in the world to come, is lived by faith. Now in the next world, we may set aside hope, for the realities will be fully apparent, fully lived. There were from before time a people known as the children of God, known to you. These had no more capability than the eventual children of Cain, but in any sense were so far inferior to the holy, omnipotent God that any or all had need to be transformed to live before the face of God. Unsinned Adam shall have been such a being, but was something less than what we have come to be. This because, though he was formed in the image of God, he shall not have followed the path of suffering, which was that of of Jesus Christ. Thus could not be given the resurrected life of Christ, which is so far beyond the plastic created man. And when we speak to the moon, we are admitting this. We are astonishingly incomplete and cannot expect the Lord or any human to accept the state of our being. The moon smiles its pale acceptance of us. And when it turns away, we know that it will return to us with the same grace. We, the disjointed, despaired walkabouts, feel warm and rounded under its gaze. Why is there such as the moon? It is for that the sun is the reflection of the Father, 
and carries from him all grace of the Lord. The moon is like the rainbow in its eternal promise. You will never leave us nor forsake us. We will be yours forever. Amen.